ready with me. Good morning, everyone. It's me, Steny. I am meeting a couple of friends today and I have to get ready for that. Since it's still very early, I figured I should make a get ready with me video since I still have some time. Here we go. First things first, I always brush my teeth first in the morning. When I was younger, I always had breakfast first before I brush my teeth, but I learned that if you actually brush your teeth first, there will be a protective layer on your teeth. So that's better for when you eat breakfast. I've always used an electric toothbrush versus a manual one for like the longest time I can remember. I think our dentist really like brainwashed my parents into buying an electric toothbrush for me because I had one when I was really young already. My very first one was this Oral-B one at Disney edition. And after like each 30 seconds, right, it would make like a cute, what is it called, cute music, cute ringtone. And that's how you know how long you should brush your teeth. I think she recommended at least one minute or two minutes. I don't always do that, but that's the recommended time. Now when I go to work, right, obviously I get ready first and then I have breakfast. But I cannot do it the other way around anymore. Breakfast is something I can skip or have along the way when I get to work. Getting ready is just a necessity. I cannot skip. After I have brushed my teeth, I move on to cleansing my face. I've always been a huge fan of skincare, and I think cleansing your face is the most important step in the evening and in the morning. Because you want to get rid of all the dirt from the entire day, right? And one product that I really enjoy using is the Foreo Cleanser. I've been using it for many, many years. This is my Foreo. Why is it not focusing? Ta-da! I love this product. This video is not sponsored and it's not an ad. It's just sharing with you guys what I love. Happy share? Is that how they say it? But yeah, anyway, so I've been using it for many, many years. And the thing I like about this one is the battery lasts for ages. This one I bought recently, maybe six months ago, and I've only charged it once. It ran out once out of battery and then I recharged it and that was maybe three months ago. They did a really good job on the battery. Also, it comes with an app. You have to use the app to set it up for the first time and afterwards you can use it to control the settings. I don't really use the app because I think that's just extra. I just set it up once and then I have my default settings. Put on my cleanser. My T-zone is always... Very, very oily. <laughs> mm. Maybe it's because I don't use a moisturizer. Like they say, when you moisturize your T zone, then your face is already, how do you say, like it has some protective layer on it, so your nose or your forehead doesn't feel the need to make any extra oils to protect your face. So after I've applied the cleanser, I just use the machine to go through it one more time and I just use circular motions. It feels really nice on your face. It's like giving your face a little massage. And this has really helped me with the black hats on my nose and the white hats on my chin. They have reduced significantly. I love this. I wouldn't say they have gone completely but I do see a significant reduction. Just use circular motions on your cheek, on your chin. I do my neck as well. On my double chin. Reduce my double chin! <laughs> now that my face feels nice and clean, I move on to shaving my moustache. I've always used a manual shaver before in the past and if you're anything like me, you would use this at least a hundred times. Like who uses this once and throws it away? Nobody does that. But then recently, I have purchased an electric one and I must say it really does a better job compared to the manual shaver. Like the manual ones, even if it was a brand new blade, right, it would sometimes leave like a green cast behind and that just doesn't look 
pretty. I do have really sensitive skin. The first time I used this shaver, my entire upper lip was it looked bruised, like it looked like I had rashes all over it. But when you use it more consistently, your skin gets used to it. I still get a bit reddish after I use it, but it reduces after one or two hours already, so it's fine. You guys see the difference? For example here, right, you can see that it's a bit reddish after I just shaved it. Hello! Say hi to my friends. Get out of here! What is this? Is it because I ate chicken wings yesterday? Fun fact, my dad used to have like a full grown moustache when I was younger and he would always want to like kiss me and I was like, mm, no. <laughs> because every time he kisses me, it hurts, right? His moustache like stabs my face and I was still so young and my dad like, flash couldn't handle it. I think he got really upset because of that. And then one day, he shaved off his entire moustache. My mom and I were like, Who are you? Get out of here. He looked so different, like it took 10 years off of his face. Like he looked so much younger. But yeah, since then he just maintains that he doesn't have a moustache anymore. Which I thought is actually kind of sweet. He must really love me. Now that my face is truly clean, I put on some toner to prep my skin. And the toner I am using today is... Wait, before I put on toner, I put on some... Ah! 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 It's on my eye! <laughs> I put on some caffeine on my eyes first because my eyes are always so puffy in the mornings. It's funny how I don't drink any caffeine, but I soak my eyes in caffeine so I can look human in the morning not like I've been punched by 10 people then I move on to the toner wait this is not toner this is serum I forgot my toner I forgot one step in my routine oh no They say when you slap your face, your face absorbs it quicker. Oh. I don't know who comes up with all this stuff, but I tend to believe them all. That's why I always get scammed. Okay, moving on, sunscreen. Very, very important. Even sometimes when I stay at home, I would put sunscreen on just because even inside, right? You're exposed to UV and all this blue light. You just have to protect your skin or else it will age 10 times faster. And nobody wants that. I love this sunscreen. Oh no. Is it empty? Here we go. It smells a bit chemical, but I'm okay with that. It doesn't really leave a white cast either, so that's what I like. You just have to rub it into your face really well, and then after, after you let it sit for a while, the white cast will be gone. Great. After applying the sunscreen, I move on to the foundation. Usually I wouldn't really wear a foundation, I would just use a um, Cushion foundation. Wait, is that also foundation? Like a cushion. It's much more faster and easier to apply. But since I am going out today, I thought I should use real foundation. My go-to foundation is this one. White de Chanel. Channel. I really like this one. It has such good coverage. And this is color 20. Let me get rid of my hair. What is this thing called in English? Like in Dutch, it's called a diadem. But what is it in English? A headband? This is not a headband, right? <laughs> Do you see this bald spot? I'm like degrading by the day. <laughs> Let it stop. This is not a pretty look. I'm curious how it's called in English. Let me Google translate it. Hold on. Dutch to English. Diadem. 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 Really? 
It's almost the same. Diadem. Diadem. Okay, let me let me wear my diadem. Oh my god, my hairline. I should not wear this. I use my beauty blender and I soak it in water. And then I put the foundation right on top of it and I just blend it onto my face. Squish, 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 squish. Swish, swish, swish. It becomes so much bigger after I soaked it in water. And I only use a tiny, tiny bit. Do it this much. And then I just put it on my face. Dab, 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 dab. Can you guys see a difference? Well, neither do I. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do see a little bit of difference. I like to go for a more natural look rather than to look very cakey. You can't cover up this thing. Okay, done. Right, afterwards, I move on to my brows. Mm. Brows are really important. I think they define your entire face. I usually don't leave my house without drawing my brows. Like, I wouldn't put anything on but my brows. I usually always draw them. And the way I draw my brows is I would always brush them first. So they are all facing the same direction. I would always start at the outer part of my brow and I would extend it a little bit because I do think I have a big face <laughs> and if I extend my brow just a little bit longer then my face would look a little bit smaller. I feel like if you start from the inner part, right, you will always go wrong because your brow ends up being too dark and I don't like that. I like it to look natural. Can you see this? So when you have the shape, you just start filling it in with strokes. It's like filling in the blanks. And you do the same for the other side. Treat them equally, guys. I have to be quiet for this because this requires focus and attention. For more precision, you can use a brow pencil that has a very sharp point. Like this. I just use that to make the lines a bit more defined. Wait, they look a bit too dark. I started drawing my brows a few years ago. I plucked my brows myself. And uh, at that time, I wasn't using a tweezer. I was using this kind of knife to shave your eyebrow. And then one time, I shaved a bit off too much from my left eyebrow. I can't remember whether it was left or right. But I shaved a bit off too much and I was like, oh my god, it's not even. So I moved to the other brow and tried to make it even, but they just became shorter and shorter and shorter. So I decided I should draw them on because otherwise I'll look like a freak. I think that looks okay. Moving on to my hair. I only ever have two hairstyles lately. Like I would either push my right side all the way to the back and then have like a wavy thing going on here at the front or I would comb this to the front as well and then have like a thingy I think I'm going for the former okay let me do this part off camera and also change into some presentable clothing a few moments later I am back do you guys feel like I catfished you? Is there a huge difference? I'm wearing this um, purplish t-shirt, the violet. What color is this? And I'm wearing a loose white pants underneath it. You can't really see it white. Also, I'm not supposed to be wearing shoes inside my bathroom. That's a no-no. As I was saying, I'm wearing this purplish t-shirt with a loose white pants. with some white sneakers because it's very hot in Hong Kong these days like I don't like it when it's all sticky so I prefer pants like these I'm not always determined to put effort into how I look sometimes I would only just put on a cap and maybe draw my brows and put some sunscreen on and that's it just some sweatpants simple t-shirt a cap. But that's a look these days as well. <laughs> Fashion is so unpredictable. 
I had a lot of fun shooting this video with you guys. I've never shot a Get Ready With Me video before. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, then give it a thumbs up and click the subscribe button and the notification bell. Ding ding! See you guys in my next video. Bye bye! Bye guys! Why?